Robots episode 81. Thank you, Tyler, for the donation. You are awesome. Also, thank you, Christopher, for buying literally every comic book we have on Gun Road. Thank you. People like our doodles. Yes. Speaking of which, all 260 plus episodes of the original Neurotically Yours series are now completely in HD. Done. Finally. Yeah, it took years adjusting and re-encoding pretty much everything from the ground up. Boy, those source files were a mess. I didn't know what I was doing back then. And you still don't. I, I'm sorry. I try. Anyway, with those out of the way, we can now make sure the reboot series is squared away, which is 99% done. The current series, the Chibi Sodes, Four Eye Records, Minions Quest, and DN Tofu, and whatever else we dig up from the vaults. Those are not going to take years to get done because we've been working on them slowly in the background as well as everything else. It's just a matter of compiling them into a volume. So, what are we going to even do with these things? You know, it's, it's not like we can even post them on YouTube or Facebook or even Twitter for that matter, you know? I mean, where? Where can we make these things available? I don't know, I, I guess Newgrounds and <laughs> digital downloads. I want Blu-rays! Yeah, I'll have to look into it, but chances are we'll need, like... A six to eight disc collection to fit the entire series. And that's gonna be expensive. Well, I mean, you know, Blu-rays would be nice, you know? We worked really hard making sure everything is like, you know, spiffy and all that. Dude, we still have DVDs available. Buy a DVD. Oh, oh right. Um, yeah, I mean, they upscale nice, I suppose. I like digital because I can put it on anything and be like, oh, look, that's me! You know, whatever. We'll see, you know. Yeah, frankly, I kind of wish I could just post them to YouTube, but hey. YouTube. We were like 10 episodes away from having a complete collection on YouTube too. You know, now, now it's just going to have to live on Newgrounds. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't care if Newgrounds was at the height of its popularity that it used to be, but it's like everyone just moved to YouTube and it's like sad. Yeah, whatever. We'll get it out there somewhere. So let's not dwell on the rubbish bin that is YouTube anymore and let's move forward. We've accomplished a lot and I don't want that diminished by a platform's fickle and arbitrarily enforced guidelines. Okay? Well said. Let us eat snacks to enjoy our victory of 20 years of goodness and HD accomplishments. Yeah, okay. Let's see what cool news is happening. There was a Comic-Con that supposedly happened, but the only news I pulled out of there was some Walking Dead nonsense, a bunch of Netflix anime series, which aren't really anime, just labeled anime, and apparently everyone hates Kevin Smith now for ruining Masters of the Universe. Yeah, I I I'm kind of giving up on that reboot thing, you know? Like, I'll, I'll check it out at some point, but I'm not emotionally invested in it, you know? Pumpkin Man said it was like someone broke your toy. What? I watched the Pumpkin Guy streams last Sunday, and he was like, reboots of your favorite franchises are like when you're a kid, and someone borrows your toy, and, and then gives it back to you, broken. It, it was something you loved, it was your favorite thing, and, and now, they ruined it. And that's how you feel. But as an adult... Yeah, I could see that, actually. Um, reboots are basically just, like, 80% cash grabs at this point. Um, the other 20% are, like, Batman and a handful of other remakes that actually worked. On the bright side, the new Ghostbuster trailer actually looks decent. It's not a reboot, but it's a direct sequel to the original two movies. So 2016 never happened in this universe, okay? So if you want a little bit of hope peppered with a bunch of nostalgia, go watch the trailer. I am very critical, and I was like, hey, I'll watch this. You know, it did not look bad. But, speaking of reboots, you know what was an amazing reboot? 13 Ghosts. Because, you know, originally that was like a William Castle film from, like, the 60s. Yeah, I mean, there's some good reboots out there, but, again, everyone out there, all that cool stuff you liked as a kid will inevitably be bought up and repurposed and ruined. So accept it, okay? Go back to the old stuff if you really want to, you know, get back into that world. And sample the new stuff from time to time just so you stay in the loop. But don't be closed-minded and don't dwell on the past too much. You know what I'm saying? You know what the cool thing about stuff from the past is? Generally, it's just there, you know? And people can go back to it and watch it, you know? It's just, it's comforting, even. That is assuming Disney or other companies don't edit all that old content for the sake of modern sensibilities, which are not sensible at all. 
Yeah, that's kind of a worry, isn't it? Like, lots of stuff getting modified these days. Yeah, hey, preservers of media, stop editing your past, please. Just toss a warning on it and leave it alone. Agreed. But, but you know, to maximize profits, gotta clean up everything, make it shine. It's what all companies are doing. Oh, look, we're so responsible and care about your fuels and society. We've wiped away our artistic integrity and history. There you go. Here's a shiny new product. Give us your money. And, hey, people, uh, go dig up the unedited versions, okay? As far as I'm concerned, if companies are going to ruin old content, I would go search for that original content elsewhere. Y'all know what I mean? So, there you go. You're, like, the fans are the only ones that are going to care about the content. Preserve it, okay? That's what we did with our stuff. And that's what you should do, too, all right? It's the internet. Come on. And for the rest of, the, and for the rest of society, hey, you want stuff edited and sanitized for everything? Hey, this is what you want. This is what you get. Bland content that doesn't make you think. Enjoy. You know, and, every, and then everyone wonders why they're so stupid. There is no thing to make their brain lobes tingle. Just flat gruel for the mind. <laughs> you know, that's a great analogy. Modern media is like that gruel they serve to cult members that is so bereft of nutrients. It makes their minds all wonky and submissive. <laughs> yep. Enjoy your gruel, society. Keep spooning it up. Yum, 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 Now I will buy anything you tell me to and agree with everything you say unless it's something different that another gruel server already programmed me to think. <laughs> yeah, uh, humanity, so, uh, whatever. Let's see, viral numbers are going up in a lot of states due to people being morons. It's the same in every country, mate. I, I don't get humans. Everyone kind of jumped the gun, as it were, you know, like, Oi, everything's back to normal. Masks off and... And now here we are, you know, variants and such, increased numbers, and I blame the media group people have been fed, telling them that certain things are a certain way when they're not. So now, half the planet is all derp alert, believing everything they see or hear, merely because they see or hear it on a platform they frequent. Yeah, um, just a note of logical self-improvement. Um, if you're getting your news solely from Twitter, YouTube, or, God forbid, Facebook, just stop, okay? Just stop. And I'm not saying that you should only trust mainstream media because I can't stand mainstream media. But seriously, use a bit of common sense when digesting information. Ha! Common sense! You're funny! <laughs> common sense! You, well, you, you know you're just preaching to the choir at this point, right? Yeah, I know. Folks who routinely listen to this or the rants already get this. So, I guess if you know an idiot... Tell them to stop being stupid. It is sad that humans cannot be convinced that what they know is wrong, even though there's information and scientific facts that say, oh, you're wrong. And they're like, no, but I heard this. You know, I, I haven't had cheese whiz in quite some time. Is, is that still any good? What? No, sorry, I was, I was just getting bored with the redundant humanity is too stupid to live thing. You know, so it's kind of put through the grinder here. Yeah, seriously. Um. Yeah, you know what? After 20 years, I think I've done my part in trying to enlighten the masses. Yeah, you know, just be glad, right, that you reached people during a time when their brains weren't already turned to mush by an oversaturated media landslide of misinformation. Yeah, I mean, I guess it was just less information accessible when we first started, so people were all like, oh, all right, you know. But now, yeah, whatever. But, hey, at least I helped some people along the way. Thank you for listening, and you're welcome if you think you need to thank me. Don't bother, I get it. You're good. So, Comic-Con. What it do? Hey, right, um, Comic-Con. Let's see, um, not much there. Some Usagi Chronicles Netflix thing is being worked on. And, um, Bone is getting a Netflix series for some reason. R really, Bone? Yo, if they're gonna dig up old comics, Netflix, Grew the Wanderer, get on that. And Ralph Snot, he's so zany. No, dude, Ralph Snart was awesome. It's still awesome. Heh, <laughs> Snart. You know, hey, that would be a good topic, right? If you could pick some weird series from back in the day to make into a Netflix show, what would it be? Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, the animated series. Uh, that might actually work. Because there was an Elvira pilot for a sitcom back in the day, and, you know, it just didn't take off for whatever reason. But, hey, Cassandra Peterson can still do the voice acting, so go! Someone green like that, you schmucks. I would say Ralph Snot. 
You already said Ralph Snart. Oh, um, bring back Sam and Max, Freelance Police. It was an animated series, but then it stopped. What, what about the Max? That, that was like a rare gem back in the day during the liquid television MTV years, you know. Or, or, Lenore, the cute little dead girl. But wasn't there like an animated series a bit ago? You know, like Flash cartoons on Shockwave back in the day? Yeah, but, I mean, come on, dude. The world needs more spooky, dark stuff like that. You know, Lenore, Elvira, dude. The world needs a healthy sense of morbid humor, okay? We need more Adams Family type stuff. We need content that pokes fun at all the dark things in life instead of constantly pretending it doesn't exist. Tom Cruise, The Mummy, animated series. Get out. Is it not dark enough? No, just because you call something a dark universe doesn't mean it needs to be in this one, okay? You know, I mean, not for nothing. Universal, if you're gonna like can that whole project, right? Why don't you dig it up? Make a dark universe animated series, you know? Come on, do it. I would watch that. You're welcome. Right, whatever, dude. Okay, forget about Universal right now. Well, no. Um, anyway, Scott Pilgrim, the animated series done in the style of the comics. I would watch that. I would really watch that, you know? Or they could just bring back Gravity Falls and make everyone happy. You know, I somehow feel that would totally get ruined today, you know? Like, like a Calvin and Hobbes series, you know? Just, just don't, okay? Leave it alone. It's good where it was. Baby Metal animated series. No. Hobo with a shotgun, an animated series for kids. Y you what? Two words. Mission. Hill. Wow, dude, that's a good one. Uh, you know, I really don't think that could be made these days, you know? It was like too smooth brain, you know? Like, it'd be like making a Ghost World series. Yeah, I mean, I think it'd be nice if they made all these things into a series, but I somehow think we'd all be disappointed, so whatever. But I think Elvira could work. Again, that probably would. And you know what? All right, listen, I rarely say post your ideas in the comments, but hey, if there's a weird comic, movie, or game that you think would make a good series, comment. And make sure it's something weird and obscure, not like Mass Effect the series. They should totally make a Mass Effect series! There's no way they could contain that in a movie, right? They could make that like a Star Trek series, but, you know, good. Next Generation was awesome, shut up. And, and I say if they're gonna make a Mass Effect series, I vote for a vape machine to play Tali. <laughs> what about the flaming carrot? Weird and obscure, right? Gru the Wanderer, final answer. Ralph Snart, final answer. Or, or, bear with me, right? How about original content? <laughs> oh, dude, what are you, nuts? That's the what? Oh, look at this guy, original content. <laughs> oh, man. Ow, oh, that's so funny. You you think people make things now. Oh, that's so cute. Ha, 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 ha. Question, how come we don't have a Netflix series? Um, not sure. Hey, Netflix, you want a series that would be so controversial and tick people off it'll probably get a lot of views? I'm your squirrel. Come on. Give me complete creative control and let me do whatever the hell I want and I guarantee you people will watch merely because people will have to watch. I, I don't think Netflix, nay, the world, can handle a fully funded animated series of us. With unrestricted creativity. They could, if they had a sense of humor. Well, I mean, it's 2021, mate. You know, um, a sense of humor is like common sense. You know, it doesn't really exist anymore. You know, between common sense and a sense of humor, I feel humans are slowly losing their senses. Yeah, along with a sense of shame, self-respect, a sense of common decency. Uh, apparently they all got tossed out the window as well. So, yeah, humanity's senses are failing. But they do have an overinflated sense of ego, though. You know, like center of the world and all that. Yeah, but the whole thing is you don't want to trade up a good sense for a bad sense. You know, that makes no sense. Yeah, humanity is quite senseless these days. <laughs> yeah, today's moral. Um, anyway, thanks for listening, helping out, donating, buying stuff, and spreading the word. Smart people, keep being smart. Dumb people, Translation, get that out of our way. No, um, seriously though, be careful out there. Numbers are going up. Yeah, uh, speaking of that, doesn't anyone realize that... Oh, whatever.
Never mind. I'm not gonna even bother. You're on your own. Well, now I want to know. No, no. Okay, the folks I want to be well will be. Everyone else, you're on your own. You're exposed. I'd honestly like to help, but society doesn't want to hear it. There's literally no way for me to comment on anything anymore without somebody screeching about it. So, Darwinism, let's go! Let this all shake out and may the smartest humans be left standing. I can get behind that, actually. Define smart. Not stupid, okay? Oh. Later, everyone, we're out. Um, there'll be news on those HD collections whenever, I don't know, whenever we figure out a place where we can post them for sale. There is just so many stipulations as to where and how you can post stuff now that it, it's, it's getting crazy. But, uh, you know, we'll see. Goodbye, everybody. Make sure you have a donut or a piece of cake or something delicious for you. And if you can't eat a lot of sugar, have something different. Yeah, th thanks. Thanks, Pilsy. What? I'm sure there's somebody listening who say, I can't have sugar. Why you tell me you have sugar? I could die. I could die. Sugar! Oh, God. Yeah, mate. Everybody, enjoy your week, weekend, or life. You know, in case you never come back. <laughs> Way to be optimistic, dude. Come on. Well, I mean, I don't know. Did we get lost in the cracks, you know, as it were? Yeah, okay. Um, a new foamy episode was posted. Why do you always call it a foamy episode? I'm in it too. Actually, you're not. Ow. All right. I'll go to the coffee toilet now. What?